Welcome to our first ComStat video. ComStat, short for Communications Status Report, or StatRep, is an application developed by Amron Core operator Whiskey 5 Delta and is a companion program to JS8 Call. JS8 Call is software using the JS8 digital mode, providing weak signal, keyboard to keyboard messaging, and much more to amateur radio operators. This video assumes you have both JS8 Call and ComStat downloaded and set up. If you don't, then visit Amron.com, type ComStat in the search box, and look for the posting titled JS8 Call and ComStat Comprehensive. The first half of the posting covers the installation and setup of JS8 Call. The second half covers ComStat installation and setup including the setup guide in a PDF document that you can download and print if you wish. We anticipate that in a prolonged grid down situation when fuel supplies for generators begin to deplete or battery backup becomes strained, many operators will need to cut back on power consumption this would result in radio operators reducing their power output as well as reducing their time transmitting. JS8 Call is a superb mode for transmitting long distances with minimum power. For example, it's common to make contacts hundreds or even thousands of miles using just 5 or 10 watts of power. ComStat turns raw data into a visual dashboard which helps the operator gain better situational awareness of the size and scope of the effects of a grid down event. The stat rep status report is intended to provide a snapshot of what is affected in a given area. ComStat has a lot of features, but here we're going to focus on some very basic fundamentals that will help you become more familiar with the program and show you how to use it as a tool for passively receiving data and reporting across the network using the stat rep feature. In this video, we'll cover stat reps, sending a status report. We'll cover display filters and flash bulletins. First, the stat rep. This is the heart of ComStat, the ability to share with others the status at a given location, and also to know what the status is at other locations as stations submit their stat reps. To send a stat rep, select from the menu the drop down, select stat rep, a blank status report form. Make sure you have your ComStat updated. The current form is version 4. Now let's prepare a stat rep. You'll notice in field 1, the 2 or the recipient is the group. That would be Amron, which is by default in ComStat. The from field, I just made up a call sign, AMR0N, and then you have message precedence levels. For this purpose, we'll just choose routine. In block four, the stat rep ID is chosen by ComStat. That is a random identification number. Next, put in your grid, either a four or a six digit grid, and then your overall status, green, yellow, or red. Instructions are down below on page two of this form to help you. The status, your number six field, should reflect the highest level. So if commercial power is red, your overall status should reflect that. Then you can go through and select each of the categories. Public water, medical, over air comms, that's your commercial radio, television, cell phone, Internet, we'll make this red. Fuel, green. Food, green. Now, you might notice that you only have one category that's red. You can select all green. It will turn all the categories green. And then you can go back and you can change the one category or two categories that's red. So you don't have to go through and click green on all of the other categories that are not experiencing disruptions. So you go through, fill out your stat rep, 
Make sure your overall status reflects the highest level. In this case, we have two level red areas. And then some brief remarks in block 18. Keep it short. JS8 call is a slow transmitting mode. The more text you add, the longer it takes to transmit. So keep it very brief. And that's it. Your report is ready to transmit or save. You can just save this so you can forward it later or you can go ahead and transmit. This will queue up in JS8 call and it will transmit on its own. Let's take a look at the settings window one more time. You'll notice that here is your call sign. For the purposes of this demonstration, I just made one up, AMR0N. Your grid square is either four digit or six digit, and six digit is more accurate. By default, Comstat comes as Amron as the group, but you can add a second group. Let's say you have a group that covers Columbia County. You can add a name for your group and then switch to group two when you want to send reports to a specific group. Whichever group you have selected, that is the group name that will go into the to field or the recipient field that you'll be sending your stat rep to. If you send it to Columbia, all of the Amron operators on the air will not be able to copy your stat rep. So pay attention to which group you've selected before you transmit. Now let's take a look at the display filter. Comstat will build up status reports that it has received for months or even years. When you have a grid down event, you don't want to get muddled down with data that you've collected from training exercises and practice and so on. So you can narrow this down to a specific time frame or a specific location. From the drop down menu, select display filter. And then you can filter by grid square if there's an event that's specific to a, a grid square. You can also eliminate stat reps that are green overall status or yellow overall status or red. So if you just want to look at a particular green, yellow, or red list of status reports. And then your starting date and ending dates are important for T-Rex or a real world event where something takes place on a Friday and you don't want to look at any of the data prior to that event, you can filter that out from the drop downs and selecting the calendar and then saving those filters and it will display according to the filter settings that you've set. So now you have a nice dashboard with a display of red, green, yellow, and there's a map. This map allows you to zoom in on areas of interest. In this case, there's something red. Let's go take a closer look. We zoom in on this red circle and then click on it and it will display the station. Of course, this is our testing fake AMR0N. And there's a stat rep ID. That is a unique identifier that helps you find it in the list of stat reps that you've received. So then you can take a closer look at the stat rep submitted by Alpha Mike Romeo Zero November. Uh, priority, routine, status, red, comms are down, and internet is down. No cell service, no internet, satellite. This helps you identify uh, patterns, trends, areas that may be hit harder than others, and you can move around on the map. And you see an area that's yellow. What's going on here? Zoom in, click in the yellow field. And this is from just another made up FCC call sign, W1DEF. Status ID 662. And now we can see all oh, the status is yellow. Crime is yellow. Power intermittent. Off air until 2200 Central is his message. And finally, let's take a look at 
the flash bulletin. From the drop down menu, select flash bulletin. And it's a very simple form. This is something where uh, you would send some type of specific piece of information that you want to stand out from other information that you're seeing on the screen. Uh, for example, maybe you have increased radiation levels at your location. Uh, maybe you've experienced an earthquake and you've uh, estimated the Mercalli score and you want to share that so that others know uh, what the intensity level is at your location. Now you could do this in a stat rep, but you also could send this as a separate piece of information that you want to stand out. It could just simply be, my station will be offline. You don't need to send a stat rep. You just wanna say, my station will be offline for the next two hours. Or uh, local hospitals requesting fuel. You could put something like that in in the display in the flash bulletin portion of the lower right hand corner of the screen that would stand out to other operators uh, from the rest of the data that they're looking at well before we wrap up i want to address the question when to transmit well first of all during scheduled nets be sure to turn your tx button off and don't do manual signal report queries unless directed by net control. Generally, the best time to transmit is anytime there is not a scheduled net taking place and following along with the persistent presence net schedule is recommended. To reduce congestion on the airwaves, it's generally recommended that you send a stat rep after you've changed bands and then not more than every hour or two, or unless something has changed and you need to update your stat rep. We will be looking at other ways to integrate ComStat into the overall communications plan for Amron operations in the future. So now you know how to send a stat rep, set display filters, and send a flash bulletin. There are a lot more features with JS8 Call and ComStat. So a more comprehensive series of videos will be coming in the future. A couple of things to note. First, JS8 Call and ComStat are free to download and you do not need a license to receive ham radio traffic. That's only if you are transmitting do you need to be licensed. Even if you're not licensed yet, you can still use these tools for better situational awareness for your family, your group, and your community in a major grid down event. Secondly, uh, we're continually working to improve ComStat, so you'll encounter occasional glitches, such as the map display when disconnected from the internet. You may not see your stat rep display in the dashboard right away, possibly for several minutes or longer. Oftentimes your stat rep won't display until you've received a signal from another station, such as a stat rep or a signal report that they've transmitted. Then suddenly your stat rep appears in your display so you might have to be patient hopefully you found this video useful and you now have an interest in practicing with this great tool in your emergency comms toolbox 73 and god bless we look forward to seeing you on the air